happy holidays from Ed and I at Snake Discovery. Last year we did our Christmas gift to you as a video where we fed a lot of our large reptiles. And we did that because we don't do Feed My Pet Friday anymore. Instead we're focusing more on the educational aspect of reptile keeping. And so today for this year's Christmas gift we figured since you liked it so much last time we're gonna do it again. So we are going to feed our big reptiles today. Before we begin, I would like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. Every Thursday, that's my cleaning day, and I spend about six to eight hours feeding and cleaning all of my reptiles. To help time go faster, I'm always listening to an audiobook so that I can get lost in a science fiction story. You guys knew that I had recently started the Wings of Fire series based on your recommendation, and I want to thank you once again for recommending that because I'm seriously addicted. I'm currently on book nine, Escaping Peril. This this 14 book series is about young dragons of different species working together to defeat a common enemy. Ironically though, the dragons in this series keep humans as pets. And I have no joke stopped listening to the radio when I drive because I'm listening to see what happens next in this series. I've also recently been listening to Audible to drown out the sound of my macaw from getting into things that she shouldn't. I keep hearing noises up here in Cheyenne's room, but she's nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! What are you doing in the closet? You're not supposed to be in here. What are you doing? Anyway, you can get the first audiobook of Wings of Fire, and I'd suggest starting with book one if you haven't read it yet. Don't jump to book nine, it'll be very confusing. But you can get it for free by going to audible.com slash snake discovery, or by texting snake discovery to 500 500. There you'll also get two free Audible originals and a 30 day free trial. It doesn't have to be the Wings of Fire audiobook that you get for free. It can be any audiobook in their library that you want. You will get it using that link, which I will put in the description below. Below. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. You can use it to learn a new skill or listen to something new while traveling for the holidays. An Audible membership also makes a great Christmas gift idea. If you don't like the audiobook that you chose to download, you can exchange it at any time and you can cancel at any time, but you still get to keep all of the audiobooks that you have already downloaded. Again, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500 500 to get your free audiobook today regardless of price. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring today's video and let's feed some big reptiles. Well, he may not be very big in size, but he is very big in popularity on the channel. This is nearly headless Nick. We're gonna feed him tonight too. I do still have to kind of start the mouse out for Nick. And once he realizes that there's food in his mouth, then he starts eating it. For those of you who haven't heard his story, Nick here was unfortunately hit by a lawnmower, we're pretty sure. I think three years ago now? The lawnmower shaved off one of his eyes and the other eye started to expand. And that wrist rupturing, so we had a veterinarian remove that remaining eye so that it didn't risk becoming infected and then killing him. So now he has no eyes, but it's something we had to do. He does this weird little like head twitch thing right before he starts eating it. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for. And I'm making sure not to cover up his glottis here, which is his, his airway. That thing right there. So let's feed Bacon, our Western or Plains hognose snake. I think she's ready. Yeah, I think so. Do you want that tasty? Oh, it's running away. Oh, it's running away. Hope oh, it's coming back. Get it, bacon. Yeah, that is such a light kiss. Um, you grabbed it in the middle. There we go. Had to help him out a little bit more than usual tonight. Get it down. Yeah. There. Like he did it all by himself, except he didn't. <laughs> it's kind of fun watching him maneuver it now with his with his lips. I wonder how many teeth he has. There it goes. Oh, Nick. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick's going back home, and I'm gonna go back to this hognose snake. I love watching hognoses eat, because they like reach forward and they squish back. And they reach forward and squish back. They always look so angry while they're doing it too. Yeah, they do. Like, oh, I'm eating, but I don't want to eat. Can you 
imagine having to floss if you were a snake with all the teeth they have? That would take forever. Well, it's a good thing for them they don't have to chew. Mm-hmm. Don't they also lose their teeth? Yeah. So, man, you don't need to floss. Why would yeah, you floss yeah. when you get to lose your teeth all year long? Yeah. I'm sorry in advance for the lighting situation. It's 1 a.m. and we spent all day at the facility kind of deconstructing it. And we have to be back there again tomorrow morning for more work. So we're trying to just kind of film this and get it edited so that it comes out before Christmas for you guys. But I think they're ready. I don't yeah. know about you. They uh, <laughs> both look hungry. <laughs> Except for Noodle. Noodle's not there. And she's, oh, she's... she'll come out. Don't worry. Oh, she's over there. So for these three big guys, we're not going to feed Murdoch because it's kind of hard to film him up there. Uh, so we're just going to feed him off camera later. But for you, we are going to feed Popeye, who is our albino labyrinth Burmese python, and Doug, who is our boa constrictor, and Noodle, who is our reticulated python. We're going to feed all three of them, and we're going to make a race out of it and place your bets to see who's going to finish their rodent first. I'm gonna guess noodle. Doug. You're going Doug? He's gonna win? I'm gonna say Noodle. Yeah. See, Noodle has been weird recently where she, like, loses the meal and then she searches all over her tank. Oh, really? Yeah, so... She does that kind of a yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see, yeah. Okay, so, squeamish warning. Here's all their food. We have a rat here for Popeye, a rabbit for Doug, and there's a guinea pig underneath for Noodle. There's food in this bag for Rex later on, too. They'll... All of these things died of natural causes besides the rat, anyways. That's true. We did buy the rat, but everything else died of natural causes, so we're just kind of recycling it. Uh, thanks to friends who breed these animals. You get food. You've been asking for food for like a week. Here you go. It's behind you. Here you go. Oh, you're so dumb. Yep, it's right here. Food? Come on. I don't know what that is. Really, Papa, dude? I know you're hungry. But I'm on camera. I don't eat when I'm on camera. Okay. Well, Popeye doesn't want to strike it, so I'm just going to lay it in here with him. I'm going to leave that in there with Popeye, because I think he is hungry. He just is too dumb to realize that there's food right here. Doug should be better. Doug will be great. Yeah. So it might just be a race between Doug and Noodle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which are the two we bet on. So, yeah. yeah. Hi, Doug. Hey, Doug. Oh, jeez. Oh, Wow! He was hungry. Ugh, there! Squeeze it in there, buddy! Wow! That was like instant! Yeah, okay. he like came out for it. Ready, Noodle? We had to remove her cave because she was just too comfortable in it, so she didn't want to come out. But I know she's hungry. Oh, jeez! Yep, there it is. There we go. Hey, come here! It's a big old ball of retic. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, Noodle's around her uh, her guinea pig. She's got it squeezed pretty well there. So now the race is on. Guys, it's been like five minutes. You're still constricting. It's already dead, guys. And Popeye still hasn't even figured out where his rat is. One eternity later. All right, we have movement. Yes, we do. Noodle has let go. It's only been 10 or 15 minutes, but Noodle has let go. Doug, on the other hand, is... Still squeezing and hasn't moved an inch. Doug is making sure that dead rabbit is a dead rabbit. Popeye doesn't even know. He's, he's looking the wrong direction. He's on. He's he's over there, and then the rat's right right there. You want to explain your snake? Burmese pythons are dumb. All right. So Emily's confused oh. at what I'm doing. Yes. So these guys are still. She's gonna take forever. I know this because she she, is, yeah. she just sits there for a while and she's like, ah, I'm successful at my kill, <laughs> and Doug is. That's that. So we're gonna go film the last one, and then we'll come back. Yes, let's feed Rex! We're going to end with, not end, I guess, the last one we're gonna feed is Rex, who's really excited over this, but Rex, I'm not feeding you right now. Yeah, go back down in there. So usually, I have her sit on her cave to eat food, but if you look, she- Cave's gone. She There's pooped. poop, but the cave's gone. Go away, Rex. Cave's over there. We didn't do that. That she dragged her cave all the way over there so that she could sit closer to the lights because what she does now is she sits half of her body on her cave under the red light and the rest of her basks under her daylight. Yeah, we'll just feed her on the ground. It's fine. We have for Rex Thanksgiving leftovers or the, the bag of innards you get with a turkey. A lot of our family members save them for us now, which is great. And Rex loves them. Yeah. Rex, here you go. Aw. Oh. You missed. You missed it. She's like, where'd you put it, Mom? Where did it go? Over here. Over here. Rex, back here. Rex. 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 Come here. Over, over.
over here. Here you go. There you go. Oh wait, you're supposed to feed them in water. They'll never eat out of oh, the That's water. right. We learned that from that book. Here you go. Oh, you caught it. Come here. Have another piece. There you go. Good girl. The big piece. Last piece in here. Here you go, Rex. Oh, oh. Oh, she got it. I'll reach over and grab that thing. She'll think you're taking her food away from her. <laughs> Get it, Rex. There you go. Mmm, turkey neck. Oh, she looks satisfied. Rex, I have one more piece for you, little diva. You drop this. Here you go. Good girl. Good um, girl. Hatch. No, you don't need more Rex. Go into your pool. You cute. Instead, I'm gonna fart out of my face. You don't do face farts? Don't that's, eat the turds. Turds, Rex. Uh. Anyways. Anyway, let's go check on Noodle, Doug, and Popeye. All right, let's see where they're at. Noodle is just looking cute. Yeah. I don't know, feeling cute. Might eat a guinea pig later. We have Doug, who hasn't moved an inch. And okay. we have Popeye, who's still looking in the wrong direction. So anybody who put their bet on Popeye finishing first? Yeah, he's the dead horse in this heat. <laughs> Doug has Oops. finally hey. let go. He is uh, searching for the head. And in an interesting turn of events, Popeye's eating. He just went for it. Yeah, he didn't even kill it. No. He's just like, all right, this is here. I'll take it. He finally found it. So for everybody who voted for Popeye, I think you're going to win. You might actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now the race is officially between Popeye and Doug, who is also eating. Unfortunately, Noodle is not eating at all. I think Popeye's pulling into the lead. Where are you, Doug? Oh man, who's gonna win? Oh, there goes Popeye. He's finishing up. Where's Doug at? Where's Doug at? Doug is. Oh, oh man, he's getting closer, but he is nowhere near where Popeye is. Where's Noodle at? Noodle hasn't even started. Oh man, Doug. Its feet are way down there. I don't know. Oh, Popeye's got this in the bag. Go, Popeye! Yeah! tail? Not yet. Yeah. Tail's still out. Well, that's true. The rabbit doesn't have the tail. Yeah, but he's got legs. That's true. Doug, you just have a little bit left. Come on! You can do it! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh. That gulf! Oh! Popeye! Popeye, you better kick it up! Go! Duck, go, dude! Go, duck, go! Go, duck! Come on, Popeye! I'm rooting for you now! Okay, whichever one oh. disappears completely first when their mouth is closed! Oh, he has a little left! Come on, Doug! Stretch it out! Come on, you got, oh. that, you got that stretch! One gulp and Doug could do it. Come uh -oh. on. Uh oh I think Popeye's gonna do another one. Come on, Doug. Oh, Doug's gulping! He's uh -oh. gulping! Oh my gosh! Uh -oh. oh! Oh, it's so close! Ah. Popeye's gonna do his gulp, maybe. Oh, here goes, here goes Popeye. Oh, this could be it. Can you still see it? Oh, you can it's still, still see there. it. You can, it's Doug's still gulping. there. Doug's gulping. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, is he Doug. gonna? Is he come gonna on, go? Doug. Go, Doug. Oh come no, on. no, Popeye. Popeye. Popeye took it. Boat up, look at Doug. Oh, and Doug just <laughs> finished. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that came down that quickly. That was epic. Considering he was the dead horse in the race. Yeah, he didn't even grab it. He didn't strike. And he pulled in the lead. To win. Yeah. What about uh, your pick? Noodle. Um, What'd she do? She hasn't even started yet. She, she never left the gate? No. I would open the glass for you guys, but she has a very strong feeding response. So yes. that glass is staying closed. 
What? That was so exciting. I was not expecting that. That was a lot more exciting than I thought it would be. So we'd like to thank everybody for watching today's Christmas special. I hope you all liked it. I know we don't feed our reptiles very often on the channel, but we wanted to do something special for you guys for the holidays. As always, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for backing this channel and for Noodle, the reticulated python, although I'm going to go to bed because it's like now 2 a.m. and I have to get up really tomorrow for another day at our shop. Ed's going to set up a time lapse or a hyperlapse and see if we can get her to eat with the lights all dimmed down. We think she may not have eaten because it was too bright. So congratulations to Popeye. Good job, bud, for uh, finishing that rat. And uh, you win. Yeah, you win. First you came prize. in second. Good job, Doug. We're still proud of you, Doug. Yep. Cool. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>